During last week's playoff game between the Atlanta Braves and the Miami Marlins, I found it pretty interesting. Late in the game, with relief picture, number 33, of course, the Masonic number, and the pitcher's name is Brad Boxberger. What a bizarre name that is. And while he's pitching, they had Adam Wainwright, the St. Louis Cardinals pitcher, in the broadcast booth talk about his teammates being moon landing deniers and also stating how half the team, half the St. Louis Cardinal team, are flat earthers. And I believe, again, this is not by chance or coincidence during this playoff game that this flat earth topic is mentioned. And I don't believe for a second this was on a whim. This is something that was planned for the millions upon millions of zombies that believe they came from a monkey and live on a spitting ball. Let's get right to the video itself. This is a great time to bring that up. I, I had about half of my team thinking the earth is flat this year. Funny, interesting, he says this is uh, uh, basically a good time to bring this up. Like, it was planned to be discussed, obviously. And again, the topic of not only the flat earth, but the moon landing. So, Adam Wainwright believes this nonsense that basically this tin can, this piece of garbage, just take a look here at the landing pad itself. Look at this garbage. I mean, this is a complete embarrassment. And we're the crazy ones that do not believe that we land on the moon. And this is obviously mockery, complete mind-controlled zombies that believe the nonsense that they're fed. That, again, this tin can, it looks like a maybe a high school project you know, by a bunch of students throwing a bunch of garbage together, curtain rods, duct tape, and tin foil. <laughs> I mean, again, if, if people believe this, they'll believe anything. If they believe this piece of crap land on the moon, they're, they're basically mind controlled to the point of no return. And I showed this before in a podcast. Just look at the technology back in 1969 with this telephone, this rotary telephone compared to a Razer, you know, iPhone that we have today, and it's nine day. I mean, again, this thing is just absolute joke. And again, it, it drives me crazy to, to believe that people you know, actually believe this nonsense. But nonetheless, let's continue on with the video. He just said the smartest guy on the team is a flat earther. This is definitely scripted, meant to play out this way. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the numbers aspect with this picture, again, Brad Boxberger. And Boxberger being a 33 name. And, of course, the 33 back of the jersey. And, of course, all about Freemasonry with this Grand Sovereign Commander with the dual 33s. And just like all of society is controlled by Masons, they are everywhere. Implant on every important aspect of our, of our society, just like in movies with this full metal jacket from 1980, 1987. You see the dual 33s in the back and the eagle on the can, just like you see here, the whole concept, exact same concept. And they are basically a mirror reflection and the big screen. Also, besides sports, of course, movies and music. With the RPMs for the LPs, the 33 and a one-third format, of course, one-third is 33%. So you have your dual 33s as well with these old record albums. And again, getting back to the movie aspect with Naked Gun 33 and a third, of course, starring O.J. Simpson, who supposedly, you know, I've covered this many times, supposedly was sued by the Goldman family for 33 million. Suppose he went to jail on a sentence for stealing back his own merchandise for 33 years. These are world stage events meant to happen and for the public to buy into. This is just a divide and conquer story when it comes to OJ. But nonetheless, again, I'm just showing the 33s. And of course, for those that know OJ Simpson with Simpson being a 33 name, OJ being orange. And that's also 33 numerology. Now, again, with this aspect of this baseball game, this playoff game, 
And again, Flat Earth Mansion out of nowhere. And of course, the Masonic references with the 33, as I just demonstrated just moments ago. Now, let's, let's go back in time a little bit further, a few years back, with this one game on WGN between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Out of nowhere, this appears on the screen. And just like I said, with the Flat Earth reference coming basically out of nowhere to be presented, this came out of nowhere as well to be shown to the masses watching. And they'll just, again, just flash their signs and put the truth in plain sight. And the masses have no idea what has taken place. Just like this one quote from Manly P. Hall, which I showed many times, is, is, it is said that wisdom lies in not seeing things, but seeing through things. And of course, this other famous quote by Manly P. Hall, when the human race learns to read the language of symbolism, a great veil will fall from the eyes of men. And that's what they're all about. And that gets again to the number 33 and 33 segments in the UN logo which is the flat earth model in plain sight and just mockery when they release the bogus globes to the millions of zombies that believe they live again on a spinning ball that's rocketing through space. They put the truth again in plain sight where it states underneath in the globes, globes are not meant for educational purposes, but only decorative purposes. So again, these are those behind the scenes pulling the strings behind all of this. Again, mocking the masses in plain sight. 